We are looking at mid 88 Vidic. I managed to pick him up for 185k. He's medium high work rate, six foot three, and he is lengthy. If you don't know what I mean by that, I'll explain it later. Not the greatest acceleration or sprint speed. That's why we got a shadow on him. But you can see his defensive stats are ridiculous. His strength and aggression and his composure are really good. His agility and balance is also quite good for a centre back being six foot three. In terms of traits, we just got power head, a team player. Don't really do too much. But he looks like a really good card overall. In terms of gameplay, we are going to go jump into a game in a minute. If you don't care about gameplay, we'll be talking about chem styles, pricing, what I thought of the card, and explaining what length he is in footbin at the end of the video. But if not, let's go jump into some gameplay. Right, let's have a look at our opponent's team then. So the main thing for me with Vidic, is he going to be better than some of the golds we have already? He needs to dominate the air for me. He needs to be really, really physical. And with lengthy getting quicker over time, he needs to be able to sort out this long through balls that seems to be the meta at the moment. And deal with it in that situation. Good pressure there. I don't know if that was a foul ref. He feels really quick on the left stick dribble though. So he gets in the way there. A bit weak. It was really quick off the off dribble. Sorry, not on the dribble. As we do give him on the ball now. Look how big he looks in game. Next to Rudiger as well with all the defenders. He does feel quite quick on the ball. I have to say for a centre back that is. Disclaimer. Right, let's see if we can pick Vidic out here. He's on the inside here. He's put quite a lot of power on it. We've actually gone to Rudiger. Very unlucky. Vidic on the inside. Oh. Right, he needs to get back. Vidic pushing up. And caught out. But Lemp is going to catch up. Good recovery there. Sends his own player to the shot. He's really quick at getting into space and then running back. As you can see there, just using his example. Corona is too scared to push into the box at the moment. That's fine. He can shoot from there all he wants. He's so quick in the recovery though. I can't believe how quick he is. Vidic intercepts, plays the ball straight out, and we're underway on a counter-attack. Right, Vidic is on his own here. Our defender has dragged himself out. Can Vidic contain this attack? Oh, lovely tackle from him. What a tackle. That is so important in our own box there. Great recovery, and now we're on a counter-attack. Got to play him off-size. Bad recovery. Can we get Vidic to recover, though? He's in the middle where he needs to be. Good save from the goalkeeper there. Right, let's see if he crosses the ball and if Vidic can actually win some headers. Oh, what a save again. Right, Vidic in the middle. Let's see if we can pick him out. Gone back post to Vidic. Oh, not quite a good jump there. Right, if you see Vidic at the bottom of the screen, they're just running straight back as quick as he can. That's what you want from your centre-back when he's pushed up. But it's there. Great recovery from the uh, the skill move. Recover quickly. Made the tackle. That's what you want from him. And he's playing it out already. He's very, very solid. He's out of position. But he's still holding space very, very well. Look. Making him delayed. That's not a problem if we dragged him out there. And there he goes. Straight back. Let Rudiger make the tackle. And he's recovered in the place there. And we're back in position again. But it's half time. We are 1 0 down, but it had nothing to do with Vidic. That's why you haven't seen it. It was just a mistake from me bringing my goalkeeper out and he missed the ball. But in terms of actual defending, if we go to Vidic's stats quickly in game, he has been really solid. It surprised me how quick he is at recovering. So possession's not that important. Four dribbles, four complete. Passing, five completed out of five. Easy passing. But here's the most important so three tackles, standing 2 1, one interception. He's had a couple duels won. Seven out of seven out of nine duels have been won. For somebody that isn't that quick, that is very, very impressive. I'm gonna make some changes, jump into second half. Second half is underway. Let's see if we can continue performing and probably get ourselves a goal here would be nice. We've been missing some pretty easy chances. Finish there uh, with a good defense and put him off. Got in the way, right? Let's give it to him here. One thing I like about Vinicius is he can pick the ball up and he can just do a little bit of lesser dribbling and find the space every single time. All right, let's see if we can find Vinic this time. That was a good ball, but he didn't want to get on the end of it. What's a bad pass? Can Vidic recover? Oh, it's Benzema. That's an absolute outrageous goal. My own defender got in the way. That's one thing I will say about Vidic is, and maybe it's down to the game and not necessarily Vidic, but if you see there when I'm running, he doesn't quite overtake him, and then our defender actually gets in the way that slows us down. We maybe could have got him or maybe put him off if the defender didn't get in the way like that then. But that's part and parcel with the game, unfortunately. Great tackle from Vidic at the pitch here. We've got some counter-attack. Can we get a goal out of this? That's the question. 
So on. Oh, that all came through Vidic's tackle up the pitch. Eh? Lovely interception. So unlucky not to score. We got ourselves a penalty. We might as well take it with Vidic. Why not? Do it for the review. Sixty-four penalty. Here we go then. Vidic's gonna bear it bottom left if we can. Good goal. <laughs> Get him on the score sheet. Why not? Good tackle. What a tackle. Got a bit unlucky with the run into our own player, but then we managed to recover from him. Vidic in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Still there. Right, let's go. Counter attack. Oh, Vidic's been left in a two-on-one situation again. Not much we could do there. He was in the right position, but there ain't much he can do there. I think this guy's going to hold it in the corner, unfortunately, and just hold it out for the last minute as he is going to be time-wasting by the looks of it. Let's see if he carries on time-wasting or is he going to cross it in. I don't blame him for time-wasting, of course. but And that is going to be the game. Vidic had a really good game. Obviously, we conceded three goals, but don't let that reflect on him. Yes, he got a goal, but also don't let that reflect on him from the penalty. He is really good at getting back into position. If you find yourself dragging defenders out all the time, he recovers so quickly as long as you let go of a sprint. He will walk back into position, no problem. Do find him surprisingly a little bit lacking in the physical side of things. I don't know why, he just seems to be lacking in that. But let's go jump onto Footbin. So we are on Footbin, it's coming about 188,000 coins. I think he'll go a little bit lower. If he gets an SBC, he'll be even cheaper. Uh, it depends how expensive the SBC is, of course. But I did like the card a lot. He obviously is lengthy, but you know what that means? He gets faster over time. So the longer he sprints, the faster he gets. He'll catch up to players and overtake. We did have a problem with Benzema, who was also lengthy. So when you come up against other lengthy players, he doesn't seem that great. We had that shadow on it. makes him a 93-rated centre-back. And overall, I was very impressed by this card. A couple of FIFAs ago, I would have been this card is terrible. But he can definitely hold his own. Very, very good. There is a little bit lacking in the physical side, which does surprise me because he has 90 strength. But it could be just down to a few games we played with him and stuff like that. If you have any questions about this card or any other card in the game, please comment down below. If you are new to the channel, consider that like button and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you.